Last July, Callie and I came across some roadkill and I brought it over here and just let it decompose here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up all of the scattered pieces. This was a rabbit. It was not far from the house, right on the side of the road. And the reason why I didn't process this and put it in the flesh box was because I was working at the time. I actually had to go to work in a couple hours time. So I didn't have the time to do my work at that point. So I just let everything flesh out. Now these bones are quite white. There is some green. But that, that will easily scrub off. So what I'm going to do is pick up as many of these little bones as I can. and get them ready to be put into their bleach solution and then they're scrubbed because these they're so clean they don't have to go into a, the water soak that I'm starting to do. Oh, Here's part of the skull. You can see the teeth there. Shows how shattered the skull of this individual was. There's some little toe bone. Now, this is the part where wearing gloves can be frustrating because you don't have a lot of grip with these gloves. And I don't necessarily need to wear gloves right now, but I'll be going out soon and I'll want to. Here's another part of the skull here. Lots of leaf litter. Here's a little butterfly vertebrae. Very cute. Some more little vertebrae. The vertebrae all appears to be in perfect condition. Oh, there's one that's broke. So I'd say most of the damage done to this individual would have been head trauma. You remember when I picked up this rabbit? There was road construction going on, and the construction workers saw me pick up the rabbit and walk off with it. So they were probably thinking, what the hell is this person doing? But I picked up the rabbit then when I did, because they were doing construction, and it was a paving thing. So that rabbit was going to get squished into the pavement if I didn't take it right then and there. Oh, there's some nice little foot bones. Still a bit of mummified stuff on there. Another shoulder blade. Some nice little rib bones. It's part of the pelvis. Now that's nice. That's a nice vertebrae there. A lot of the bones, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them because they're such odd shapes. It would be awkward to wear them as earrings or a necklace. But I'm sure that I will think of some sort of project that will utilize them. I'm going to try to use as much as everything as I can. In some of this you can see little seeds and what the, I think that was is part of the gut contents of the rabbit and in the intestinal tract anything that the rabbit had eaten that was seeds in it was still in there so it's going to be it's going to be part of the decay matter little toe bones in there And there's a tiny ant. I don't even know if you can see him going. Some of 
side here. Pretty sure this is part of the foot bones. It's a bone. It looks kind of rock-like, but it's definitely a bone. The one thing that you got to be really careful about when picking up rabbit roadkill is they're often just covered in ticks. That's one problem with rabbits, the ticks. So I try to keep Callie away from them. And if she is near them, I check her really thoroughly afterwards. So far she has not had ticks on her. But um, one of my cats that I had, he had ticks on him. He was an indoor cat, but we take him for walks on leash. And every once in a while he'd have a tick on him. He's really good about having them taken off though. The only real damage I'm seeing to any of these bones was the skull. Because all the toe bones seem intact. Um, there was some of the spinal column still there. Lots of little ants down there. I'm probably kneeling in the ant nest. Yeah, the ants are still coming in here and doing their work, so I'm just going to leave all these little bits and pieces. There's not very much bone. What's in there is really tiny fragments. Oh, here's a cute little creature. A little bug right there. Yeah, but that was the rabbit. And there's evidence of other rabbits coming around here now, so... Here's what I got here, and that'll be lots of different materials for making things.